invocation neeraarum kadaludutha nilamadandai edirolugum seeraarum madanamenathigal varada kandamidi dekkanamum adichiranda thaavidanal thirinaadum takkasiru pirainudalum tharithanarum thilagumi அத்திலக வாசனை போல் அனைத்துலகும் இன்பமுறை எத்திசையும் புகழ் வணக்க இருந்த பெரும் தமிழனங்கே தமிழனங்கே உன் சீரிடமை திரும்பியந்து செயல் மறந்து வாழ்த்துதுமே வாழ்த்துதுமே I invite the Vice Chancellor to del deliver the welcome address and present the performance report of the university. Honorable Chancellor Srimadhi Geeta Muthaiya, Honorable Chairman Dr. M.A.M.R. Muthaiya, Respected Dr. Sanjay Bihari, Chief Guest of the 13th Annual Convocation of Chettinad Academy of Research and Education, Honorable Members of the Executive Council and Academic Council, Faculty Members, Staff Members, Parents and Guardians of the Graduates, My Dear Graduates, Distinguished Invited Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. It's my great honor and privilege to welcome each one of you on behalf of the Chettinad Academy of Research and Education and on my own behalf to this auspicious and solemn occasion of the 13th Annual Convocation of Chettinad Academy of Research and Education. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome our chief guest today, Dr. Sanjay Bihari, a world-renowned neurosurgeon currently serving as a director of the prestigious Sri Chitra Thirunal Institute of Medical Sciences and Technology, Trivandrum. A brilliant neurosurgeon, avid researcher, and an able administrator. He graduated in medicine from SMS Medical College, Jaipur, completed his MS General Surgery, MCH, and Dippenby Neurosurgery from Sanjay, Sanjay Gandhi Postgraduate Institute, Lucknow. And he served in the Department of Neurosurgery as HOD for many decades. He has expertise in skull based surgery, complex spine and craniovertebral junction surgery, vascular neurosurgery, and special interest in neuro oncology. He is a recipient of various reputed awards like Raghuroy Gold Medal for Best Performance in General Surgery, S.R. Nayak Best Research Award, S.S. Agarwal Publication Award, Australasian Congress Publication Award, Publication Award from the World Federation of Neurological Societies. Further, he was selected by the Indo-US Science and Technology Forum to be among the eight neurosurgeons from India to represent Indian neurosurgeons at the joint Indo-US Congress of Neurological Surgeons Annual Conference in New Orleans, USA. He also served as an international scholar at Fujita Health University, Japan, and serving as an honorary visiting professor for various international universities in Portugal, USA, Switzerland, China, Z Japan, and so on. Further, he was also honored as a visiting observer at the University of Pittsburgh and John Hopkins University, USA. He has guided 108 MCH neurosurgery and neurology senior residents, co-guided six PhD and seven MD students, been an examiner for 28 Indian universities, and also been an examiner for Sudan and South African University. Adding to this, he is the editor for 16 neurosurgery books, has 375 PubMex indexed publications, and has 142 chapters in books. He is also an editorial board member of 12 esteemed journals and a reviewer for 30 national and international journals. He also holds the position of Chief Secretary Level 17, Government of India, as head of an institute of national importance, that is Sri Chitra Thirunal Institute. Sir, you are a medical celebrity, and we feel really honored to have your presence for our convocation, and we thank you from the bottom of our hearts for accepting our invitations. <laughs> At the outset, I congratulate the graduates for their hard work, parents and guardians for the sacrifices made, and the faculty members for mentoring them to complete their studies. Special congratulations to all the medal winners. It's my pleasure to share the convocation statistics. A total 642 students are eligible for the award of a degree by this university. 
Out of this, 406 are undergraduate students, 213 are PG students, and 23 PhD students. Raja Muthaya Award, Sigapi Archi Award, Dr. K. Rosaya Endowment Medal, and toppers in MBBS subjects will be awarded to 34 students. CARE is a vibrant university. CARE was founded and conferred the status of deemed to be university under Section 3 of the UGC Act 1956 in the year 2008. CARE offers 70 academic programs in the Faculty of Medicine, Nursing, Allied Health Sciences, Pharmaceutical Sciences, Physiotherapy, Occupational Therapy, Law and Architecture for the academic year 2022-23. CARE has about 1,600 employees and 3,237 students. First generation graduates from rural and semi-urban areas make up a significant proportion of our students. Equal opportunity is provided to students of all categories, including socially and economically backward classes. CARE ensures that no qualified applicant is denied higher education for want of financial resources. It is with great honor and pride I report to this August gathering that up to 100% scholarships are awarded to deserving students for all disciplines at CARE. In the year 2023, CARE awarded Srimadhi Geeta Muttaya Outstanding Merit Scholarship with 100% tuition fee waiver for 27 students. Kumari Mayamai Muttaya Global Merit Scholarship with 75% tuition fee waiver for 236 students. Kumari Sagapi Muttaya Academic Merit Scholarship with 50% tuition fee waiver for 175 students. And Sri Ramaswamy Muttaya Talent Merit Scholarship with 25% tuition fee waiver for 14 students. During the year 2023, a sum of 6.76 crores has been granted as scholarship under the above mentioned schemes. CARE has been accredited with a grade A++ with 3.71 GPA out of 4 by NAC and declared as a Category 1 institution by the UGC. CARE has been granted permanent recognition by the Ministry of Education on 24th November 2023. CARE ranks 82nd rank in the university category and 48th rank in the medical college category in the NIR of ranking 2023 conferred with 12B status by UGC, CIRO status by DSIR, ISO 9001-2015 certified. It is ranked third in the country by UA Green Metric, Diamond Rating by QSI Gauge, and ranked 13th Best Private Medical Institution in India by the Outlook ICAR Ranking 2023, and 32nd Best Institution in India by the Week Hansa Research Survey 2023. CARE won the Confederation of Indian Industries Tamil Nadu Medclave Center of Excellence Honors 2023 for Diagnostic Center Laboratory. Chetnod Hospital Research Institute is a NABH accredited hospital. CARE has established state-of-the-art instrumentation facility for biomedical research and CPC approved animal house facility for translation research. To promote quality research, CARE offers JRF for full-time PhD scholars, postdoctoral fellowship and seed money for faculty research. Short-term research projects are incorporated into the undergraduate curriculum and medical undergraduates are encouraged to take up ICMR short-term studentship. CARE has two institu institutional human ethics committee and one institutional animal ethics committee for approving research projects. Faculty of Chettinad Academy of Research and Education published 504 research papers in Scopus and Web of Sciences indexed journals, nine patents and 34 copyrights have been awarded in the year 2023. A sum of rupees 30 lakhs was provided to the faculty members as incentives for publication. CARE has 90 plus active MOUs and during the past one year, the university has signed 30 MOUs with renowned academic institutions, research labs and industries. CARE has been granted a four-star rating by Innovation Cell Ministry of Education, Government of India for promoting innovation and startups on campus, which is highest rating achieved by universities across the country. Further, CARE has always aimed at guiding and grooming students to take up entrepreneurial careers and has sponsored and successfully launched five student startups. In addition, two faculty members have started entrepreneurial careers with motivational support from CARE. Academic initiatives have always been the top priority of the university. The syllabi are continuously updated. Board of Studies and Academic Council have representations from industry in addition to top academicians. CARE stands as a testament to progressive educational practices with an unwavering commitment to the principles of National Education Policy 2020. DigiLocker services are already available to the students from last academic year. All the degree certificates of students who have completed various courses in the university from 2009 onwards have been uploaded onto the NAD DigiLocker portal, enabling digital empowerment to the students in order to access the documents anytime, anywhere. Till date, 4,083 degree certificates and 16,139 mark statements have been uploaded on the NAD DigiLocker portal for various courses. Keeping in line with the national education policy, academic bank of credits has been established by CARE where the students' academic data are held and academic awards are stored. 
All the credits acquired by the student are stored in the bank, which can be used by the university for credit transfer. Students can redeem the accrued credits in the academic bank of accounts maintained in ABC for the purpose of fulfilling the credit requirements for the award of degrees or diplomas or certificates or coursework for the PhD programs, etc. 3,577 ABC accounts have been created and 901 credit data have been uploaded. E-Senate Services, an initiative by the Ministry of External Affairs for online attestation successfully implemented in 2020-21 are also available for verification of documents. Sigachore is conducting national exit test coaching where MBBS students are provided personalized coaching for the upcoming national exit test. CARE organized 28 CMEs apart from the weekly CME and C continuing education programs, 68 guest lectures, 3 conferences, 66 national and international commemorative days, 22 faculty development programs, 63 seminars in addition to various research seminars and 34 workshops in the academic year 2023. Chettinod Hospital Research Institute is a multidisciplinary healthcare institute with an unadulterated focus on patient care and academic pursuit in the fields of medicine and surgery. Sigachari consists of a medical college and a state-of-the-heart hospital with 1,630 beds, medical and surgical specialty departments. Sigachari offers various healthcare services and caters to the needs of over 3,747 patients every day. CHRI takes lead in implementing various state and central government initiated programs. For example, Dr. Muthalakshmi Reti Maternity Benefits Team for conducting free delivery to pregnant mothers, the National TB Elimination Program for free TB diagnostic and treatment services, including drug resistant TB, the District Blindness Control Society Scheme for performing cataract and other ophthalmic procedures, and the Office of the Director of Public Health and Preventive Medicine, Chennai, provides free vaccines to the Department of Pediatrics for carrying out free immunization service in our hospital. Apart from the general hospital, Chettinad Super Speciality Hospital offers world-class healthcare services to all, supported by best infrastructure, diagnostic, and treatment facilities to meet every need. Chettinad Rural Health Center at Poonjeri and Chettinad Harbour and Health Center at Karapakam are upgraded with specialty services, in addition to the existing 24 bar 7 emergency care, inpatient admissions, procedures, diagnosis, pharmacy, and ambulancy services. Chettinad Free Community Hospital, inaugurated by our Honorable Chairman, Dr. M.I.R. Muttaya, with the aim, health care for all, caters to the health care needs of 1.75 lakh people residing in 114 villages around Chettinad Hospital and Research Institute. Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce appreciated the service initiative and awarded excellence in social in initiatives. Chettinad Simulation and Skills Lab is South Asia's largest simulation and skills center accredited by the American Art Association and as an international training center and the only of its kinds in India to score 96.8 percent in the AHA quality assurance audit. It was officially inaugurated by Dr. Senapati Krish Kobalakrishnan, chairman, Axelor Ventures and co-founder Infosys. Regarding the outreach activities from CARE, in 2023, 558 health camps have been conducted, benefiting 1,5837 poor patients. CARE has a vision to establish around 20 satellite clinics in rural areas to extend health care services to the rural community. We are happy to announce that we have established 10 satellite clinics during the year 2023. Sports and culturals, our students are always encouraged to participate regularly in the intercollegiate, inter-university and state-level tournaments and have brought many laurels to the institution. Chetfest, a national inter-university meet, comprising of sports and cultural events to appreciate and reward talent from across the country, was held from 30th October to 3rd November 2023. Various exciting musical, sports and fun game events and competitions were conducted and the participants won prizes worth 10 lakhs. Examinations at CARE. We ensure a fair and transparent examination system with a pass percentage of 83% for MBBS, 100% for MDMS courses, 100% for DMMCH, 99% for MSc courses, 100% for undergraduate courses in Allied Health Sciences, 96% for nursing streams, and 100% for post diploma in clinical embryology, 87% for physiotherapy course, and 100% for undergraduate course in law for the academic year 22-23. The overall pass percentage for the university is 98%. Campus. The self-contained Wi-Fi enabled campus comprises air-conditioned lecture halls, laboratories, offices, academic and administrative departments, library, seminar halls, auditorium, 
Examination halls, hospital complex, research center, food court, hostels, advanced IT infrastructure, staff quarters, indoor and outdoor sports complexes, bank, ATMs, and a stationery store. Security in the campus is ensured through turnstiles, CCTV cameras, and access control at strategic locations. CARE takes pride in its clean and green campus. Use of renewable energy sources, including solar power and windmill, water recycling, vehicle-free green zones, and cycles for in-campus mobility, makes the campus eco-friendly. With all its unique features, CARE is relentlessly pursuing its mission of achieving excellence and eminence as a university of higher education, achieving milestones constantly. Thank you. Jai Hind. I request Madam Chancellor to declare open the 13th Convocation of Chettinad Academy of Research and Education. This Convocation of Chettinad Academy of Research and Education has been called to confer undergraduate and postgraduate degrees in the Faculty of Medicine, Faculty of Allied Health Sciences, Faculty of Nursing, Faculty of Pharmacy, Faculty of Physiotherapy, Faculty of Law, upon the candidates who, in examination recently held, have been certified to be worthy of the same. I invite the chief guest, Dr. Sanjay Bihari, Director, Sri Chitra Thirunal Institute for Medical Sciences and Technology, Trivandrum, to deliver the convocation address. Good morning, respected Mr. Muthayapan Ayappan and Mrs. Geeta Muthaya, the chancellors of this university, Professor R. Sridhar, the vice chancellor, uh, uh, Mrs. Uh, Saraswati, uh, the registrar, Dr. Meenakshi, the dean, and Dr. Raji, the previous vice chancellor, Dr. Professor V.G. Ramesh, head of neurosurgery and one of the senior most neurosurgeons in the country, illustrious dignitaries, parents, graduates, and other students. I congratulate the Institute for its outstanding track record that has seen the emergence and development of so many responsible citizens of the country. I congratulate the teachers and parents whose hard work and personal sacrifices have led to this enormous success in the lives of their wards and children, respectively. I do think that ensuring success of the next generation in one's family represents by far the greatest gift a person can give back to oneself and to this world. Ever since CARE or Chettinad Academy of Research and Education was confirmed the status of deemed to be university in the year 2008. It is growing from strength to strength. It is heartening to note that it has been accredited with grade A plus status by NAC, awarded star by Ministry of Human Resources and Development's Innovation Cell, and appreciated by the All India Council for Technical Education for its clean and smart campus. In consonance, with the motto of the university, capability, character, and commitment, CARE offers 74 academic programs in the faculty of medicine, nursing, and allied health sciences, pharmacy, physiotherapy, architecture, commerce, and law. As is the need of the hour, programs offered are interdisciplinary and cater to the clarion call of self-reliant India. Currently, CARE has about 2,500 plus students pursuing their undergraduate, postgraduate, and PG education. I congratulate the teachers for teaching with latest teaching aids and methods. I was also very happy to know that CARE has established a state-of-the-art instrumentation and simulation facility and facility for biomedical research and an animal house facility for translational research. To promote quality research, CARE offers junior research fellowships for PhD scholars postdoctoral fellowships, and seed money for faculty research. 
short research projects are incorporated in the undergraduate curriculum, and I congratulate CARE for this vision. CARE has a large number of research publications and patents. For promoting and facilitating research and training capabilities, CARE has 50 plus active MOUs with renowned academic internal, international universities. CARE has extramural funding from government agencies like Department of Science and Technology, Department of Biomedical Technology, Council for Scientific and Industrial Research, and Council for um, uh, Medical Research for research projects in all emerging areas. I congratulate all of you for your outstanding efforts that have been singularly responsible for these achievements. Dear students, my congratulations to you for today. Please do remember, when one assesses your institution, the judgment will be based not only on how beautiful the campus is or how accomplished your teachers are, it will be decided based upon your talent, achievements, and exploits. Please remember that you are the torchbearer of the name and destiny of the institution. The way you conduct yourself in the future will directly determine the reputation of your institution. You do emerge with a great responsibility today to uphold forever the name of your institution. In the real world situation, the day you complete your education is the day your real education starts. Therefore, in my 40 years of medicine and 30 years of brain surgery, let me share with you seven tenets that I learned along the way. I request this to be a very interactive session where I will make a thing and I need a very loud answer to this. What does this represent? Come on, one. One, okay. So the first is the unidimensionality of education. I have realized that education system and the method of evaluation are very unidimensional. Students with good reading and writing skills and acceptable language and social skills automatically do better. Ultimately, the endeavor is to get more marks and this has become the leading goal of one's existence. To give you two personal examples, as the pre-medical test during my time was conducted in several national languages, a lot of meritorious students got selected. However, within six months, due to lack of adequate language skills in the medium of instructions, their marks and confidence dropped. In my school, after the 10 standard boards, 10 students were asked to leave school. As the school felt that they would not be able to perform well in the 12th grade and would spoil the overall position of the school in the national ranking. Today, all of them are successful CEOs in major companies. What suddenly happened to them? With that wake up call and battling with adverse circumstances, they found th themselves in, they rose to the occasion, worked hard, diversified their skills, and proved everyone's opinionated decision about them wrong. Amongst my students of neurosurgery, also numbering more than 100, many of whom are professors in prestigious universities today, all of whom came as very accomplished students and as high achievers, when I look back on their career trajectories, I have realized that those with practical knowledge, determination, and a well-rounded personality and those who do not hesitate to immediately take up responsibility and form a team to complete a task. They do much better than those who focus only on getting bookish knowledge with the sole aim to perform well in examinations. Please remember, life does not run on examination results or on your curriculum vitae, degrees or certificates. It runs on dogged pursuit of dreams no matter what adversity one faces. The resilience, tenacity, and determination in the individual to combat the surprises that will inevitably crop up actually determine your professional success. The future is always throwing curveballs at us. And the best way to insulate yourself from these surprises is to diversify as much as you can. Second, seeking immersive experiences. Being an active neurosurgeon who has been for 30 years always in the operating room, sometimes from 5 a.m. till midnight, 
I've often wondered why there is hardly any disruptive progress in the ergonomics as well as the instrumentation of the operating room over decades now. Now I'm heading an institute of national importance that is leading biomedical research in the country. I have realized that whenever I'm invited as an expert for choosing projects in various government committees, the researchers in various institutions seek funding for nearly the same subjects of research and that the medical device development projects are also disconcertingly similar. What is happening? Most of these people are working in silos without any knowledge about each other. They are never actually entering the operating room to focus on the knowledge about each other. They are never entering the actual, uh, the doctors in turn. They never communicate with them. And the doctors also never try to have uh, uh, relevant, uh, convey regulant needs and long associations with them to seek experiences. Therefore, consciously seeking experiences that are completely different from the ones that you already have really helps. Books, classroom, teaching, and internet education are important, but from your perspective, the information that emerges from them is second-handed. They represent somebody else's experiences. The second-handedness of these experiences are responsible for their mediocrity. When you have immersed yourself in a new and unique situation, you will find solutions that are your own, based on your present thoughts, your previous experiences, and your responses based on what you perceive your future to be. A similar point relates to seeking company. Consciously seek company of individuals who are pursuing professions completely different from that of your own and learn from them. Not only will you grow, but this symbiotic interaction will give rise to an entirely new and innovative idea. The CT scans and MRI scans of today that are used to see any part of the brain and spine with one millimeter accuracy and have revolutionized neurosciences were primarily developed by physicists and engineers working in conjunction with doctors. Think about it. You go for a holiday to seek a change in your daily routine and try new things out in a new place, a new environment. Seek a holiday from your own professional routine by trying new things with new people in new professional environments. Not only will you grow in experiences, but you will also innovate. Accept differences and work together to create new pastures. Number three, fail early and fail fast. It's a very strange thing that I say in a convocation. Fail early and fail fast. Success undoubtedly brings accolades, increases confidence, and creates several new opportunities. However, there is a problem. In an attempt to maintain a string of successes in your life, you repeat the same things over and over again and stop taking risks. And that leads to a stalemate in life. That of not trying different things and that of not failing multiple times in order to master a new technique. Thus, other risk takers eventually overtake you as the product and services you offer become obsolete over time and are no longer considered relevant or unique. Therefore, the mantra is to fail early and fail fast and then improve, to fail again, but fail better this time. And what is the actual definition of experience? It is a series of bad experiences. Along with all your successes, Soon, the cumulative effect of all your failures as you try new vistas will make you a person of great experience, whom everybody seeks, because you have done more things in a wide variety of fields than anyone else has. Fourth, have faith in serendipity. You know, in the Japanese Zen philosophy, they will spend a lifetime drawing an enzo. And what's an enzo? It's a perfect circle. So without taking your hands off from the paper, can you use your paintbrush to draw a perfect enzo? And people will spend a lifetime only learning to draw a perfect enzo. So masters will spend a lifetime trying the art of making an enzo 
on a paper with a paint brush. When you fo focus on a single point on the stroke of that circle, you do not know where it will lead to. Will it make a perfect circle is the question that you ask yourself. Do not worry. Universe has a grand design for your master stroke. Therefore, stop expecting results at every point while making your Enzo. Just relax and without expectation of any rewards, perform the master stroke. Make a constant commitment to self-improvement. One day, the accumulation of all the points of the circle will lead to a perfect Enzo in your own life. As Swami Vivekananda once said, do not fly. Look not for success or for failure. Join yourself to a perfectly determined will and work on. Anyone can keep calm in a cave or when asleep. Live in the midst of battle of life and reach the center. Once you have found your center, you cannot be moved. The fifth point, always acknowledge with reverence the unacknowledged people in your life. I was invited to a national event where around 800 children selected from all parts of the country through a rigorous academic competition filled the hall. When I asked them, name the people who have been responsible for your successes in the order in which you think they have contributed. All 800 of them screamed enthusiastically in unison. Parents, number one, teachers, number two, and friends, number three. I agree with them wholeheartedly. However, there is one group of people at your beck and call who have also been responsible for your successes. They have been responsible for making sure that you could devote time to studies, to extracurricular activities, to pursuing hobbies that made you the well-rounded, educated person that you are today. They are the household helpers, drivers, gardeners, cooks, working tirelessly at your home as well as in your professional environment. Please realize that their background work has been responsible for your successes also. Be sure to always acknowledge their presence in your life and help them grow. When you are facing an adversity, you will realize that they will come to your background help often much more than even your own dear relatives would. And as you grow in age, you realize this. Number six is a very important point which you will often face, which is conflicts in workplace. Always remember, people do not leave institutions, they leave individuals. I often notice then one reminisces about one's previous workplace, one is nostalgic and wants to undergo the same experience again. Nostalgia brings about a sheen in one's memories. You always think, oh, I was better there where I was previously. Not once does the person realize that while he or she was present in that particular situation, he or she was actually quite miserable because of one or two or a group of people. This is because we simply attach too much importance to ourselves and to all others. I had written a poetry once entitled An Expensive Misadventure. Every clone of innumerable faceless men struggling to carve for itself a niche, an identity that is its very own. As dust is raked, clouds are sent up, a million shoes that ushers within feeling shattered, relationships broken, and while inspecting the wounds harboring within oneself, the grim realization was not the price of ambition too high. In the beautiful book, The Order of Time, Carlo Rivello has written a beautiful line. As human beings, we live by emotions and thoughts. We exchange them while we are at the same place and at the same time talking with each other, looking at each other's eyes, brushing against each other's skin. We are nourished by these encounters and exchanges, but in reality, we do not need to be in the same place and time to have these exchanges. 
thoughts and emotions that create a bond between us have no difficulty in crossing seas and decades, sometimes even centuries, tied to thin sheets of paper, which we call books, or dancing between microships of a computer. We are part of a network that goes far beyond the few days of our lives and a few square meters that we tread. Therefore, in parallel to the divine trinity of Brahma, Vishnu, and Mahesh, symbolizing birth, preservation, and creative destruction, our holistic personality is encompassed by the triumvirate of intellectual, emotional, and spiritual dimension. The cognitive aspect of our personality, measured by intelligence quotient, is believed to be the sole determinant of success in all spheres of life. However, intelligence is a multi-dimensional construct comprising of linguistic, mathematical, spatial, kinesthetic, musical, interpersonal, and naturalistic intelligences. Our career choices are often guided by commonly administered intelligence quotient, aptitude, and subject tests, disregarding the fact that individual aptitudes are unique. Thus, people realize midway that their true natural calling lay elsewhere, outside the discipline they pursued in education and later on in their careers. Nurturing a balanced interplay of intelligence quotient, emotional quotient, and spiritual quotient leads to holistic development, aligning the mind, heart, and spirit, and fostering a sense of purpose, harmony, and interconnectedness with oneself, others, and the universe. Please remember this. And the final and the seventh point, happiness is an internal phenomenon. Your personal happiness does not depend on external factors. 95% of your happiness depends on your own thoughts, perceptions, and reactions to a particular situation. Your dreams create thoughts. Thoughts create action. Action creates habits. Habits create a behavior. And consistent behavior creates a personality. No matter what external support and enticements you provide to a person who is constantly unhappy, he will not change his state of unhappiness. This is because he has un internalized his unhappiness until it has become a part of his DNA. Happiness is a state of mind. What it means is that we can control our levels of happiness by purposefully entering the happiness state of our mind. A successful person is one who, despite all his problems, remains positive, happy, and true to himself or herself and meets all adversities with equanimity. To the young students who are being conferred degrees today, my advice is, please remember the excitement of today. Store in your memory vault the dreams that you have today. Later on in your life, whenever life challenges you with its complexities and entices you with its adventures, whenever your heart flutters with anxiety, self-doubts, forebodings, and apprehensions, and your entire self is questioning your mind and protesting, I want to perform this task but am I capable of actually doing it? At that time, just open the memory vault and relive today. Reimmerse yourself in the excitement and the dreams you had this day and tell yourself, since this is what I always plan to do and the opportunity is presenting itself, this will be my destiny. And then work hard to fulfill it. Suddenly and magically you will discover that the whole universe will conspire to bestow upon you what you have thought to be your most unattainable dreams. Please do remember this all your life. My prayers and best wishes are always with you. Thank you very much.
Let the candidates be now presented. Namaste. Madam Chancellor, I present unto you these candidates who have been awarded Raja Mutaya and Sigapiachi Awards for proficiency in the Faculty of Medicine, Faculty of Allied Health Sciences, Faculty of Nursing, Faculty of Pharmacy, Faculty of Physiotherapy, and Faculty of Law to be presented by the Chief Guest. Raja Mutaya Award for proficiency in MD Anesthesiology. Dr. Nirupama B, first class topper. For proficiency, sorry. For proficiency in MD Community Medicine, Dr. Shashitra S, first class topper. For proficiency in MD, Dermatology, Venereology, and Leprosy, Dr. Rawali M., first class topper. For proficiency in MD, General Medicine, Dr. Sneha Haridas A., first class topper. For proficiency in MD Microbiology, Dr. Satya Kamala R, first class topper. <clears throat> For proficiency in MD Pediatrics, Dr. Veda Sai Kota, first class topper. For proficiency in MD Pathology, Dr. Sivagama Sundari CS, first class topper. For proficiency in MD Pharmacology, Dr. Padmaja S, first class topper. For proficiency in MD Respiratory Medicine, Dr. Krishnika R, first class topper. For proficiency in MD Sports Medicine, Dr. Vaishali R, first class topper. For proficiency in MS, Obstetrics and Gynecology, Dr. Preeti S, first class topper. For proficiency in MS, Ophthalmology, Dr. Muttu Sundari A, first class topper. For proficiency in MS Orthopedics, Dr. Rakesh Kumar B, first class topper. For proficiency in MS Otorhinolaryngology, Dr. Raghvi A, first class topper.
for proficiency in MSc Allied Health Sciences, Ecocardiography and Cardiovascular Imaging Technology, Nisha R, first class with distinction. For proficiency in MSc Medical Biotechnology, Gen C. Roshni A, first class with distinction. For, profic for proficiency in MSc Perfusion Technology, Nandini E, first class with distinction. For proficiency in MPT, Orthopedic Physiotherapy, Tamar Selvan E, first class with distinction. For proficiency in MBBS, Akshara Shri RK, overall topper. For proficiency in BSc Allied Health Sciences, Tilak Kumar K, first class with distinction. For proficiency in BSc Medical Genetics, Kirtana Prasad, first class with distinction. For proficiency in Bachelor of Pharmacy, Meenakshi R, first class with distinction. For proficiency in Bachelor of Physiotherapy, Haripriya D, first class with distinction. For proficiency in Bachelor of Law Honors, Yuvakirtana K, first class with distinction. For Sigapi Achi Award, for proficiency in MSc Nursing, Medical Surgical Nursing, Tainmuri B, first class with distinction. For proficiency in BSc Nursing, Nelsi Mariam Prasad, first class with distinction. For proficiency in post, sorry, for proficiency in post basic BSc Nursing, Christina Ragapriya D, first class with distinction. Madam Chancellor, I present unto you this candidate who has been awarded Dr. K. Rosaya Endowment Award for proficiency in the prize examination in the Faculty of Nursing and University Medals for toppers in MBBS subjects in the Faculty of Medicine to be presented by the Chief Guest. Dr. K. Rosaya Endowment Award for proficiency in the prize examination in BSc Nursing in the subject of Community Health Nursing, Nidisha C. <laughs> University Medal for Toppers in Individual MBBS Subjects, Akshara Shri RK, seven medals, Anatomy, Biochemistry, 
pharmacology, forensic medicine, ophthalmology, medicine, and surgery. Anwar Basha, SB, two medals, physiology including biophysics and obstetrics and gynecology. Priya Darshani, yes, two medals, microbiology and pathology. Mahalakshmi, yes, community medicine, including humanities. Hariharan V, pediatrics, including neonatology. Vigneshwar R.V. Autorhinolaryngology. Madam Chancellor, I present unto you these candidates who have been certified by duly appointed examiners to be qualified to receive the PhD degree in the Faculty of Medicine, Faculty of Allied Health Sciences, and Faculty of Physiotherapy in person to be presented by the Chancellor. Candidate number one, Dr. Chandrasekhar in Medical Microbiology. Dr. Shifa in Medical Microbiology. Dr. Savita, Medical Physiology. Dr. Sahaya Raj, Counseling Physiology, Counseling Psychology. Dr. Kinjari, Counseling Psychology. Dr. Agnes Ashmita, Counseling Psychology. Dr. Kalyani, Counseling Psychology. Dr. Sivagami, Medical Bio Nanotechnology. Dr. Dr. Pimula Gautam, Medical Bio Nanotechnology.
ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಪ್ರಗಿಯಾ ಪಲ್ಲವಿ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಬಯೋ ನಾನೋ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಶಿಲ್ಪಾ ಎಸ್ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಬಯೋ ನಾನೋ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಜಯವರ್ಧನಿ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಬಯೋ ನಾನೋ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಶರಸ್ವತಿ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಬಯೋ ನಾನೋ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಶಾಂತಿಪ್ರಿಯ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಬಯೋ ಬಯೋಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ದಬಿತಾ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಬಯೋ ಬಯೋಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ವಿಘ್ನೇಶ್ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಬಯೋಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸಂತೋಷ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಬಯೋಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಬಾಲಾಜಿ ಫಿಸಿಯೋಥೆರಪಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಮುರಳೀಧರನ್ ಫಿಸಿಯೋಥೆರಪಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಶಾಜಿಯಾ ನೀಲಂ ಫಿಸಿಯೋಥೆರಪಿ Madam Chancellor, I present unto you 83 candidates who have been certified by duly appointed examiners to be qualified to receive the MD and MS degree in the Faculty of Medicine be admitted to the degree in person. Thank you. Madam Chancellor, I present unto you 132 candidates who have been certified by duly appointed examiners to be qualified to receive the MBBS degree in the Faculty of Medicine be admitted to the degree in person. Thank you. Madam Chancellor, I present unto you 193 candidates who have been certified by duly appointed examiners to be qualified to receive the postgraduate and undergraduate degree in the Faculty of Allied Health Sciences be admitted to the degree in person. Madam Chancellor, I present unto you 107 candidates who have been certified, certified by duly appointed examiners to be qualified to receive the postgraduate and undergraduate degree in the Faculty of Nursing be admitted to the degree in person. Thank you. Madam Chancellor, I present unto you 46 candidates who have been certified by duly appointed examiners to be qualified to receive the BPharm, MPT and BPT degree in the Faculty of Pharmacy and Faculty of Physiotherapy respectively be admitted to the degree in person. Madam Chancellor, I present unto you four candidates who have been certified by duly appointed examiners to be qualified to receive the Bachelor of Law Honours degree in the Faculty of Law be admitted to the degree in person.
Madam Chancellor, under the laws of the university, I present unto you 56 candidates to be admitted in absentia to the PhD, DM, MD, MS, MBBS, MSc, and BSc degrees in the Faculty of Medicine, Faculty of Allied Health Sciences, and Faculty of Nursing, respectively, for which the candidates are declared to be qualified. Let all the candidates stand up and take the pledge. We shall, in thought, word, and deed, be ever honest. In the discharge of our duties and shall uphold the dignity and integrity of our profession. the honor and the name of our university and our alma, alma mater. We pledge to uphold and advance social order and the well-being of our fellow members. And shall devote our energy to promote the unity integrity, and secular idea of our country. We swear to sincerely endeavor to serve all those who are in need of our services to the best of our ability without any consideration of caste, creed, or status. By virtue of the authority vested in me as the Chancellor of Chetinad Academy of Research and Education by this university and in token thereof, I, author I authorize you to wear the stoles ordained as an insignia of your qualifications. I dissolve this convocation. National Anthem. Janagana mana adhinayaka jayahe Bharata bhagya vidhata Punjab Sindh Gujarat Maratha Dravida Utkala Vanga Vindya Himachala Yamuna Ganga Utchala Jaladhitaranga तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तव जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे CARE has organized a farewell lunch for all the graduates in the basement hall of Sigapi Archie Convention Center and we wholeheartedly invite all the graduates and the accompanying visitors for the same. Request the remaining graduates, UG and PG of all streams to assemble back after lunch at Sigapi Archie Convention Center Auditorium to receive their respective degrees at 1 p.m. I repeat, CARE has organized a farewell lunch for all the graduates in the basement hall of Sigapi Archie Convention Center. And we wholeheartedly invite all the graduates and the accompanying visitors for the same. 
Request the remaining graduates, UG and PG of all streams, to assemble back after lunch at Sigapi Archie Convention Center Auditorium to receive their respective degrees at 1 p.m. Thank you. When your names are called out, we request you to come on to stage. Dr. Anil Salish. <laughs> Dr. Grace Aishwarya Jasmine. Dr. Lakshmi Krishna S. Yes. Dr. Mohana Sundaram M. <coughs> Dr. Saravana Kumar R. Dr. Vaishali U. Dr. Divya Parvati J. Dr. Jerry Alfred, yes. Dr. Manju, yes. Dr. Nikilesh Sundariam. Dr. Surya Deva A. Dr. Vishalini A. Dr. Shia Sharma B. Dr. Vignesh Shivaraman P. <coughs> Dr. Balakrishnan R. <coughs> Dr. Geetanjali Dasari. Dr. Bhatma Tinti Manoj Kumar. Dr. Sri Ramuttu Karupan, yes. Dr. Vaishnavi. Dr. Vishnu V. Dr. Avinash S. Yes. Dr. Harini S. Yes. Dr. Kriti K. Dr. Mituna M. Dr. Nurulaina. Dr. Priyadarshini D. Dr. Sri Shamini SR. Dr. Shruti M.
डॉक्टर लक्षिता नित्या नित्याई राव के डॉक्टर सुशील सी डॉक्टर विमल माणिकम डी डॉक्टर अक्षया ए डॉक्टर गणेश पी डॉक्टर सचिन कुमार ए डॉक्टर राम प्रसाद एस डॉक्टर दीपक राम टी डॉक्टर अजय गोकुल बी डॉक्टर दिव्या आर डॉक्टर ऐश्वर्या एम डॉक्टर कानीमोली आर डॉक्टर मोहित नरेन गोंडपल्ली डॉक्टर मुनकरा कृष्णा अभिषेक डॉक्टर मुत्तु विघ्नेश वि डॉक्टर नारा मित्रमंडा डॉक्टर साई सबरी एस डॉक्टर शंका डी चक्रवर्ती यादव डॉक्टर विवेक बारदम डॉक्टर नंदिनी एस डॉक्टर प्रीति रवि डॉक्टर प्रिया एम डॉक्टर सौंदर्या जे डॉक्टर श्वेता सिंह एन डॉक्टर विद्या आर डी डॉक्टर अश्विनी आर डॉक्टर दौड लक्ष्मी प्रिया
டாக்டர் கவிதா எம் டாக்டர் ஷீலா பிரியா ஆர் டாக்டர் உடி சாய் ஸ்ரீனிஜா டாக்டர் அறிவொலி எஸ் டாக்டர் டேனியல் அருண் எஸ் டாக்டர் தினேஷ் குமார் எஸ் டாக்டர் சதீஷ் பாபு எம் நெக்ஸ்ட் வீ கோன் டு எம்பிபிஎஸ் அக்ஷரா ஸ்ரீ ஆர் கே பிரியதர்ஷினி எஸ் மகாலட்சுமி எஸ் ஹரிஹரன் வி விக்னேஸ்வர் ஆர் வி அஸ்வின் என் என் தீபன் ராஜா பி ஃபவுசியா ஃபரூக் எஸ் ஹெலன் பிரார்த்தனா ஜொஹான் ஃபெலிக்ஸ் ஜே Kamali S. Naveen Kumar M. Arun B. Sherika E. Divya Darshini P. Gadi Parthi Shravani. கண்கனாலா நித்யா லக்ஷ்மி கிருஷ்ணா பி பிரக்னியஸ்ரீ பரமேஷ் பாலாஜி
Sophia, yes. Sudha ji. Abida Fiddas. Abhinaya Vallivi. We request uh, physiotherapy, law, B farm and allied uh, sciences graduates and their parents to be ready. Aishwarya D. Ajay V. Ajay A. Ansel Timothy Francis. Arunakshara TK. Ashwin Prasad KB. Bala Raga Vivek Anandan Kumaresan. Bhargav Mahalingam. Bhavnam V. Chandana Chaudhary Velluri. Devi Shri S. Dara Jamal Adil P. Darshika C. Dikshita Das Divya Priya S yes. Divya Shri P Gayatri N Harsha Vardhanan S.J. Inba Sibani S.S. Aishwarya V. Javid Nigal A. Jayakishore TK. Jeeva Reka K. Jesha Priya K. Yeah. 
ஜோஷ்னா முரளிதரன் கமலக்கண்ணன் எஸ்சி கனிமொழி எஸ் கண்ணப்பன் எஸ்வி கரண் ஆகாஷ் எஸ் கரிஷ்மா செந்தில்குமார் கார்குழலி கே கீர்த்தனா ஆர் கீர்த்தி ரெட்டி காலித் அகமது ஆர் கௌஷிக் ஆர் கிஷோர் எம் கே லலித் கணேஷ் ஜி மகத்ரு ஜே மகேந்தர் ஜே மாரதி சந்தியா மீனாட்சி சி மொஹிதீன் அப்துல் ரஹ்மான் மோனிகா ஜி மிருளாலினி ஆர் முத்துராம் ஏவாய் நந்தகுமார் பி ஆர் நந்தினி சி நிக்கிதா எம் நிரஞ்சன் ஆர் நிர்மல் குமார் ஏடி நிதீஸ்வர் ஜே நிதிஷ்குமார் எஸ் நிதின் எம்
நிவேதா எல் ஸ்னேகா அனன்யா பரமேஸ்வரன் கே பால் குளோரினா ரோஸ் வி பவித்ரா எஸ் கோட்டி சாய் பிரபு பி பிரகாஷ் எம் பிரணேஷிலம் பருத்தி பிரவீன் குமார் எம் பிரீதா எம் பிரியங்கா எம் ராகுல் ராஜ் எஸ் ராஜலட்சுமி எஸ் ரித்து ஏ ரோனக் அகர்வால் சாதனா சரவணன் சாய்பத்தி எம் சம்யுக்தா பி வி சத்யஸ்ரீ சேதுராமன் ஷிக்கா சிப்ரா சேகர் ஷிரிடி சாய் தருண் ஷ்ரவந்த் ஆர் ஸ்ருதி ஆர் ஸ்ருதி வேல்முருகன் சிந்துஜா எஸ் சிவதர்ஷினி
சிவசரண் எஸ் எஸ் ஸ்னேகா ஆர் ஸ்னேகா எஸ் ஸ்னேகா எஸ் ஸ்ரீஹரிணி ஸ்ரீ சந்தியா சுபாஷினி எஸ் சுபிக்ஷா கே பிரனீத் ஸ்வேதா கே விஷால் தங்கீத விஷால் ஆர் த்ரிஷா பி துவிக்ஷா ஸ்ரீனிவாசு வைஷ்ணவி எம் வனிதா ஐ வித்யாஸ்ரீ ஏ விக்னேஷியஸ் வினோதா பி விஷாகன் எஸ் வைஷாலி லோகநாதன் விஸ்வா எம் வைஷ்ணவி கே ஹெச் யோகாம்பால் பி I note request the graduates to check your degree certificates check whether your name registration number everything is correct if there is any modification you can clarify it today Ashlyn K தேவதர்ஷினி தேவி பிரியா
दिनेश कुमार टी दिव्या गोकुल कालीराज कनीम कार्तिकेय कीर्ति का लोकप्रिय मीनाक्षी मोहम्मद यासर मोहन कणन मोहन प्रिया निवेदा मुर्गदास पवित्र प्रीता राहुल राजलक्ष्मी रमा देवी रमशाकान शक्ति शेख दाऊद श्रीमती श्रुति तेन मुली विवेक नाउ फिजियोथेरपी भारती जॉयस हरिप्रिया हसीरा बनो हिमाजा
Jennifer Joy Cynthia. Kavya. Niveda. Saran. Swati. Swati SS. Sveta. Master of Physiotherapy, Orthopedic Physiotherapy, Anisha Kumari, Pooja Ramalingam, Pranav. Satish Tamar Selvan Bachelor of Law Alan Getsi Chabina Resoria Vijay Venkatesh Yuva Kirtana Allied Health Sciences, PG degree, Alpha Mina A, Anthony Diana I, Janina Veronica V, Jayapriya S, Kashifa Banu N. Maitli P. R. Nisha R. Sandhya T. Vitya Shri V. S. Arun Gobi R. Divya G. Jeevanandam A. Rajkumar G.
Shweta S. Said Afzal Ahmad S.C. Akshaya A. Chemikalash Saumeshri. Mahalakshmi Kalyana Sundaram. Varsha V. Ilakya B L Hema K Indumati V Kavipriya S Kirtika V Ladli Kumari Monika Shriji Murheta Jehrin Niveda Ji Ponnupriya B Ragul Krishna T Raksha SG Sai Krishna S Saranya N Sumati Saravanan Vaishak AL Vaishnavi P Varshini P Yester Jyoti Shelksia Yes Gomati D Jaya Janani M Josna Arvindan Akshara S Akshaya J Harini A Jesse Mercy D Kartike N R K 
किरण वी संजनी एफ ए शारन सोफनी पी एस आईना आई आईफत एंड मेरी सबास्टिन जयंत जे कीर्ति एन महिमा एस नवीन प्रकाश ए नीतीश कुमार के सुष्मिता एस के तिलकवती वी पांडी सेल्वी आर वैशाख के यशवंत ई साइमन प्रिंस एस वेंकटरामन जे एम फाइव एयर इंटेग्रेटेड प्रियदर्शिनी आर सबरीवासन आर शर्मिला एम मोहन प्रिया टी डी नंदिनी एम श्री वैष्णवी एम कविन कन्ना वी निवेता एस मेघा जोसलिन सबिया आर कृतिका डी श्रीधरन एम बी एस सी फोर इयर प्रोग्राम ऐश्वर्या डी जॉन वेणी डी नतिया ई शिवबालन यस सुहाना कदरी यस yes. 
Said Mohammed, Vishnu Prasad M, Adi Shankar, yes. Aishwarya M. Ajit Kumar U. Anaka Santosh. Arshad Mohammad F. Arul Vijay E. Arul Aras P. Ashwini M. Bergin E. A. Bharat Kumar, yes. Brinda B. Chitra V. Dikshat V. Deepika Shankari SK Deepika P Deepika R Delhi Ganesh L. Danush S. Divya M. Divya R. Ilakya S. Festus Joseph M. Ginju Palli Gautami Govardhani Apple Hemant VP Hemnath VP Jeevita S Kavya R. Kavya S. Kiru Pavati K. Kritika R. Kotishwari G. Lavanya M. Next to Rendilla. Next to Rendilla. Next to two. 
मोहम्मद अल्ताफ हुसैन के मोहन कुमार यम मोकेश के मुत्तु प्रिया वी नंदू यम पद्मावती पार्थ सारदी पृथ्वी पटेल जी पार्वती श्री कुमार प्रवीण कुमार यम प्रवीण एन प्रवीण आर प्रवीण कुमार के प्रव्या यूपी प्रियदर्शिनी यस प्रियंका के रहिला एम रंजना वी रेवती जी रेवती जी रोशनी डी रोशनी आर साधना श्री पी सलोमी ए संध्या जी संध्या सुबांतनी एम आर संगवी एस शरण कुमार ई सारुलता यस स्नेहा यस सौंदर्या ई सौम्या टी श्रीमन राज आर
सुभाष यस सुरेता एस सूर्या एल तारीख अहमद एस तरुण वी वैष्णवी ए एम विजयलक्ष्मी पी युवराणी पी यार गुड्ल रवि प्रज्वा थ्री इयर प्रोग्राम बी एस रेणुका आर दिव्या जी Esther Sharon W Gayatri V Kanmani Shri Gauri K मधुमिता पी के रम्या पी शरण्या एम सुजिता एस श्वेता एस अभिरामी के कनिमी एस पी नागत दीपिका के एस प्रशांत यस रोशल एम शैला शाहिल अहमद एम श्रुति के बी विष्णु शेषन विशेष डी एस अद्वै तमिल अमृता जे चारुलेखा के के चित्रवीणा एस
Esther Rachel B. Gopika D. Kanish Ajada Shatru K. Kartikey N R. Madhavi P K. Nagashobika K S. Perimba Asha X. Sankranti Ashika. Bachelor of Science, Nursing, Lourdes Joseph J. Monica N. Saranya A. Sita A. Vignesh D. Aditya M. Abhishek S. Ajit Kumar M. Alina Binu Alina Thomas Ananda Prakash N Angel E Anjana S. Arti D. Arun Kumar S. Bashan K. Virgin BJ Charmi K Dinagaran D Divagar M. Durai Prakash Raj V.
இளமாறன் ஆர் ஃபெபா மரியம் பைஜு காயத்ரி ஆர் கிஃப்லின் ஜோஷுவா சி காட்வின் எஸ் ஹரிகிருஷ்ணன் கே ஹரிப்ரியா எஸ் ஹரீஷ் கே ஹேமப்ரியா எஸ் ஜானட் ஃபெலிஷியா வி ஜபாஸ் பிலிசன் ராஜ் ஜே ஜெஸ்னா மெரின் பர்கீஸ் ஜிஷி கார்மல் பி என் ஜோ இமானுவேல் ஆர் ஜோயல் அனில் ஜோயல் பி ஜோசப் ஜோஷுவா ஜெரீஷ் எஸ் கண்ணன் எஸ் கார்த்திகா தேவி எஸ் கார்த்திகா கே கீர்த்தனா எஸ் ஜே கீர்த்தனா எஸ் எல் குஷ்பு ஜே யாதவ் குமரன் எஸ் மதன் குமார் எஸ் மணிஷா எம் மனோஜ்ராஜா எம் மேரி ஸ்டெஃபி டிசோசா Merin Susan Jacob Miriam Sharon R Mohammad Riyas C Mohammad Umar Farooq M மோனிஷ் குமார் சி மைவிழி கே நஃபீசா என்
Nayantara Thomas. Nayantara Thomas. Nelsi Mariam Prasad. Nidisha C. Paul Livingston. Pavitra V. Parolin D. Prasanna Kumari P. Priska Anna Koshi. Pritika P. Answer. Pritish S. Priya Darshani S. Pushpa N. Radha Krishnan R. Radhika M. Ramashri. Rosi Yam Sai Priya R Sajit S Sandhya A Sarona G. Shakti S. Sham V. Sylvia L. Shiva Sankari P. Subhulakshmi J. Subhulakshmi S. Suganti S. Sujita R. Surendra Nyan, Surya P, Surya V, Sweety C, Sveta S, Tamil Arasi R. Tarsini R. XCS. Venkat Prabhu AS. Vignesh Babu V.
விக்னேஷ் எம் விக்னேஷ் வி அக்ஷய் அகே கிறிஸ்டினால் ராகப்பியா டி தாக்ஷி அனேஜி கீர்த்தனாஜி எம்எஸ்சி லோகேஷ் ஜி தேன்மொழி பி யாழினி டி ஞான ஜமீலா பி சுவிதா எம் ரஞ்சிதா எம் கௌசல்யா சி சசிகலாஜி தேங்க்யூ ஃபார் எவ்ரிவன்